Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of Crash Bandicoot, the huge adventure for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Yes, it's been months, but I've finally recovered the data. As you guys can see, I am back here. So today we have to do Shark Attack, and we have to do Ruin, so let's go to Shark Attack. Yeah, we need the green gem, I believe, to get 100% uh, in... Hey, something, what's... Oh, Just Hanging, that's the name. Only 26 boxes? Wow. So yeah, my Donkey Kong Let's Play came to a... Well, actually, I can't tell you guys, because it's probably not going to be up yet. Like, the finale. I was doing Crash Bandicoot Season of Ice instead, but the game decided to not save after I clearly saved it, but... You know, whatever. Okay, apparently there's like no boxes throughout most of the level. Hang on, I gotta position myself a little better. Checkpoint. 11 boxes out of 26, well we're almost halfway done. For box count, I don't know about level count, uh, level wise, but... Okay, there's no yields. Wow, and some of the boxes are even nitro in this level. Like, we already seen four, so they bring us to 19. That only leaves seven more boxes. Six. Five more. That was... uncalled for. I apparently should have killed that jellyfish. But, whatever. Wait, isn't the level called Shark Attack, not... Jellyfish, Mines, and... Whatever you want to say, attack. Oh, okay, well, that was easy. It literally took us like less than two minutes to beat. Anyways, we can get the blue gem here and ruin. I think we need the blue gem to go back to Snow Job. There's 89 boxes to get. And my kitty is in my room. So hang on just a second, guys, while I let him out. Okay. I am now back. Sorry about that, that increased some time on our game, but whatever, my head now my headset's a little off, but Whew. Okay now I gotta wait for these. So I think now after we get the blue gem here we can go back to Snow Job and get the gem. I think that's how it's gonna work. Okay, good. I didn't I didn't botch that, so. There's only 89 boxes. Like the first few levels to this world had a lot of boxes. Now not so much. Let's do this. Elgato Wednesday. Then my dad's birthday is literally the day after. Pretty cool, eh? Wow, we're only at 15 boxes though. See these new, these higher up levels have less boxes, but the boxes are really spaced out. And I can get a one up here, or I guess just a life. What? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me that that bird actually got me. Woo! I almost messed that up. Well, at least I can get my life over and over, so it's not like... It's not like the end of the world or anything. We can get Aku Aku. I haven't seen him for a few levels while I've been playing this. So it's nice to have him back, finally. And here I thought I was gonna, like, literally lose him right there. I don't know what that did, but we'll, we will see. Right to Crash Bandicoot, bro. Wow, that didn't actually go off. Interesting. Anyways, now we can go up here. Nothing over that. Holy TNT. 
Come on, blow it all up. It's funny, it's like most of our box is right here. In one little area. We haven't even seen the bonus yet. We got these lizard guys to deal with. Well, those guys were in Crash too. I've yet to LP that game, so you guys can be expecting that sometime soon. Well, there goes all the nitros. And there's the bonus, but where is the um, gem platform? Or like the blue gem in this level? I don't know if... Oh, wait a minute, is this that st Oh, no. Yep, it's the stupid one. Figures. I hate this bonus so much. Because you literally have to crouch jump this. And then, on top of that, you have to slam at the precise moment, otherwise, you die. And this also has one of the worst jumps known to Crash Bandicoot history. You know what's funny? This is probably the hardest bonus level in the entire game. And that's saying it to. That's like including everybody. Casual gamer to let's player to speedrunner. 100% speedrunners, more precise. Speedrunners would just, like, you know, skip over all this stuff. Actually, that is not as hard as I remember it being, but. Uh huh. Uh, let's do this. And I just slide off. That was lovely. Lovely as lovely as can be. I'm gonna kill that Wampa Fruit just because I can. I don't wanna be. I don't wanna be a rock star. I, mean, I, I, I do wanna be a rock star. I just can't be a rock star because I have no musical talent. Whatsoever. So yeah, that's my problem. Ah! Make the jump, you stupid Crash Bandicoot. My name is not Stupid Crash Bandicoot. It is Smart Crash Bandicoot. You stupid human player. That's pretty much it, eh, all you Bandicoot enthusiasts? If you guys actually exist, I don't even think Bandicoots are real creatures, but... Okay, if I measure that, it's approximately about this. So... Okay, you can jump that. Okay, but for some reason I just don't seem to... Jump it! No, of course you don't make it. Why wouldn't you not? Why, I mean, why would you make it? That Wampa Fruit just has to die, man. Dude. This is actually where most Let's Players, like... If you didn't have to do this level, everyone's Let's Play of this game would be like half the time. I know it seems weird, but... Okay. Man, you know, that just bugs me, because... It just, like, goes... Okay. There's got to be a specific way that the game intended you to do this bonus, but honestly, I've never figured out. See, that's angled upward, so we have a little bit of extra, you know, awesomeness to it. Really, I have Super Slam, and that's all it did. Okay, that was cool. I'm going to kill these Wampa Fruits. But like, come on, game. So are you telling me that I have to jump that? I have to jump it? That can't be right. This can't be right at all. So I highly doubt I'm gonna make that. Okay. Why is it? You know what? I'm gonna do it that way. 
I'm up here. Scratch my ear. So not only we had cat interruptions, which really wasn't an interruption, it was between levels anyway. Wait a minute, that was the wrong one. Ooh. There we go, we made it finally. Woo! We made it. Yes! I guess you do have to slide jump that. And then I slide right into a lizard, by the way. Because that's how the pros do it. Okay, now I gotta look for that blue gem somewhere. This is an angled platform? What the? I did not see that bird coming. Anyone else see that bird coming? Like, why do I even need that platform? Okay, bird, where are you? Okay, it's a cliff. I want my life back for that bird killing me. What is this? What is the point of this? I have no clue what the point of that was. Well, we got all the gems, or all the boxes. Do you think maybe it's like underneath or something? Nope, it's not there. So, uh, let me just Google how we find this. Because I want to get it before we take on engine. So, crash, huge, adventure, blue, gem. Let's see. So, what we will do is we'll just check it out here. So, the blue gem is currently. Okay, past all the giant TNT. One down. Wait, what? Okay, I'll, I will just look it up later, and anyways, we'll go to engine for this. So yes, we got this battle again, or well, this concept again. Yeah, because you know, it's fair to shoot us with something we can't even see at the moment. Other than that, he's not really a difficult boss at all. Just gotta blow up all his guns, you know. Well, let's like blow him up. And that gun's gotta be close to being destroyed, right? Yeah, there we go. And it's gonna open his hatch up there. Send out hover bombs. Let's just destroy him. We'll also attack that gun. Now he's gonna do the hover bomb barrage. It's funny that he does them like that. I, I thought the other attack would make more sense, but. That's just my personal opinion. You know what? It's really hard to hit him in that spot. Those other two spots have got to be close to being destroyed, though. Yep, there we go. There's that one. And there we go. That was it. So now we have double jump, which is awesome. Great job, Crash! I have half the crystals, now bring me the rest of them so I can finish my machine. But be careful, Cortex is watching you! So the world with Tiny, so... I think we'll just maybe finish off the episode with Snowjo, which now has polar bears. And 96 boxes, so say once again, not too high. It is a pretty high number for this game, but we've seen like 140 where we needed the green gem and stuff, so... It's really not that, uh, that huge. 
And lots of them are usually in the bear part, or the yeti part, or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, there's that too. Or you just slide off the edge. That also works, I guess. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Because, you know, sliding off the edge is how we do things in this game. We don't think things through. We just bounce till we can't bounce no more. Woo! We made it this time. I would like a checkpoint, please, game. And I honestly forgot that we could double jump. It's just because you get double jump so late in the game that you kind of forget that you have it when you do have it. Anyways, let's go on. Can you get those, please, sir? Thank you very much. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. More Wungaga power. Aku Aku. So yeah, these levels... Oh, darn, that was my fault. Through and through. But... Come on, get those. Okay. Whoa, I glitched through the floor. Did you see that? Come on, get those. Get those. There's the Aku Aku that I need so much for this level. Wow, apparently those first are just by touching them. Come on, get those. Thank you very much. Yep, I figured that. I need you to get those. Yeah, I figured. Okay, I'm back here. Now I made it back to the part where I utterly screwed up. You guys didn't notice that from just watching the video in general. Okay, hit those. Nope, you did not hit them. Of course you did. Yes! I have my Wunga Gapop. Worse. No, I get him and then I lose him because I'm stupid. There we go. Maybe. Maybe if I just. You know, take my time with the level a little more. Come on, man. Ah! There's so many obstacles! And then I get brutally electromurtified. Really? Okay. Woo! 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 Really? There's just so many penguins and so many fences. Really? And then I get Aku Aku. The other way, penguins. At least I get one life back. One life back. God, penguin? Really, penguin? You just penguin? I told you to get out of the way. Like, why did the penguin just have to like randomly go in front of me like that? Wow, really? There was a checkpoint right there afterwards. Maybe, guys. Why did it speed up? Did you guys see that? I'm just gonna like hop here like this. Because I don't know when there's gonna be another cliff. I hope there's a nitro switch because we clearly just missed that. Okay, we only have 36 more boxes and a few of those were nitros. I don't even, I don't even think we've hit the bonus. Wait, I just kept bouncing, that, that's what got me there. I didn't mean to keep bouncing. There we go. Ah, oh, that actually was not as many boxes as I thought there was that were nitro that we didn't blow up. Why did it do that? You guys notice that this game is just trolling me now? It's like troll. 
It's like, there, we'll just blow everything up. Well, there's one right there. I probably could have made that, but... You never know. Oh, there's the bonus. I think this is my longest episode of this so far. Well, then again, you guys haven't seen it in a while. You guys really loved it, so... You guys are in for a long ride. Well, I'm not gonna do any more levels after this, but you know what I mean, right? And I'll figure out where that blue the blue gem was. But my room is like sickening hot right now. It's like insane in the membrane, guys. Only two more boxes. Found one of the two. And there's one of the other two. Wow, this is like an easy bonus compared to some of the ones I had to do before. And I even got some 1-ups out of that, and a free checkpoint. And we actually have the entire level done. So anyways, in the next episode, what we'll be doing is I'll be getting that blue gem, like I said, and we will be taking on our first outer space level known as Ace of Space. Get it, Ace of Spades? You guys know, right? <laughs>